that one was having fun. I see that. Is. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course. What's up today, Bob? We're going to work with these crutches and we're not going to play with them anymore. That's right. We're going to show how to use crutches on the stairs. Right. Because it's going to be a little bit dangerous uh, yeah. if you don't know what you're doing. So I guess we'll talk about two instances, Brad. Let's talk about an instance in which you can't put any weight at all on, on one of your legs. Broken ankle, femur, tibia. Mm -hmm. Let's, in cast. let's consider it our left leg. Sure. Okay, left leg is the bad leg. As a matter of fact, just so we remember, I'm going to, I'm going to roll a pistol. The girls are going to get excited on this video. They see that leg, huh? I doubt that, Brad. <laughs> well, at least we can remember which leg is. That's, that's right. That's the one on the non-weight bearing leg, huh? Okay. Okay. Well, I step all the way to anyone. I'll step back here in case you need my advice. Yeah. Okay, so obviously, you're going to be walking like this. Can we talk just real quickly, Brad, about the crutches that they should be adjusted so high that they're right. If this is going up into your armpit and you're bearing the weight through your armpit, you're going to get sore shoulders underneath there. Your brachial plexus is going to flare out. So make sure they're adjusted. You can get two fingers in here and your elbows are just slightly bent when your hands are here because you can adjust this up and down and you can adjust this up and down, so they need to be both adjusted. I think we have a video on this. We have a video on that. What is a brachial plexus, Brad? A brachial plexus is a, a bunch of nerves that are coming out of your neck and going right through here. Right. Nerve arteries and veins. Yep. You, can, you, you put pressure on them and you'll get start getting trouble in your hands and, and uh, arms if, you, if you're putting pressure on it. Now, if you're going to go up the stairs, no weight bearing on your left leg, and you got a rail right here, I would recommend either take both in one hand, or if you got someone there to hold, can you hold that Bob? Sure. One hand here, one hand here, and you get up close to it, get a good solid base on both hands, and we're just gonna... The crutch is on the, low, the lowest level. Okay. You yeah. don't try to put the crutch up there. No good, no good. Mm -hmm. They jam the shoulder up, and then you're just gonna go up. If you need a fair amount of strength for this, this is yeah. not for someone that is elderly or Know, that, that doesn't have the strength uh, to, to do it. If you want to put both together, you're by yourself, because when you get up to the top, you're going to need both of them right. again. You just got to do what you can to grab a hold and get them lined up nicely, okay? And it's not too bad, actually. It, it really isn't. It works out pretty good if you got, again, if you got the strength. You bet. Yeah, it really does, you know, upper strength there. Why don't we stay with that, Brad? Why don't we show them how to go down the stairs? Sure. Okay, now I'm going down the steps. Left leg non weight bearing. I've got a rail here to work with, so I'm going to put both crutches together, line them up. You're going to get your toe right to the edge of the step. Don't try this back here, it's a big hop otherwise. Get close to it, always go down with a crutch. Lean with a crutch, slide your hand down a little bit so that you go to the crutches as opposed to here, you end up all stretched out. Okay, so here and very gently go down. This is not too bad to do. No. This leg, the non weight bearing leg, usually you kind of hold on far enough so your toe doesn't catch back here. Obviously, it's the fall going forward. So get that leg out here and down. It makes it a lot easier than holding it in like that. Okay? These are good things to practice in physical therapy before you go home. Like that. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. It's just not a good thing to learn on your own and just do it now. The awkward thing is if there is no handrail and it would be on this side, then you know, you got yeah. a problem. How are you going to do that, Bob? You have to do it on the opposite side yet. Then we're going to go over like that. Yeah. We, we can't. We got a rail here. Why can't you do it like that? You're right. <laughs> Bob is always here to save the day. Okay, let me back walk up. And I'm going to go down like this. Get that leg out. And down. And down. Nicely done, Brad. Yes. Yeah. Well, make sure you have good tips on the uh, crutches so they don't slide on you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I was talking about these rubber tips down here. If they're wore out, especially I've seen some where they wore out, the metal part is actually coming through. Do not use those tips in the hardware store or wherever you need to to get new. Replacements. By the way, we are missing the pads on the uh, crutches too here. Yeah. These are not normally yeah. plastic like that. So. Right. Um, but if you're using them right, that's not a big deal because they're not digging into your arm, armpit anyway. So. 
right. That's the up and down for non-weight bearing on one leg. Sounds good.